think um, BJ Dicker posted it. Did you you didn't post it on Divine Victory, huh? You got to post it on Divine no, Victory. No, no, I put everything on our personal page. You know. <laughs> yeah, put it on Divine Victory. You got to post it on there. Too. Oh, but yeah, dude, so, man. Um, by tomorrow it should be there. I'm not uh-uh, going to put, put too a much on DJ and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not going to put too much pressure on DJ Dika today. But um, give say? her about 24 <laughs> hours. I'm not going to put too much pressure on you today. <laughs> but give it about 24 hours. And Thanks. you will see the video live when we was at Bubblegum and what we had to do. And how we Thank looked you. funny doing it. Like she was bobbing her head and I was trying to bob mine once I realized yeah. I was supposed to bob it and Man. oh my God. It was I was like it's easier so, said than done. When they see people doing that stuff on T V, that mess is not easy. So our birth so that that concludes our birthday. Uh, we're not finished. We got how many more weeks in October? We got two more weeks to celebrate, so we'll be back next week to tell you what we did that next uh, this coming week. Oh no, I didn't finish. Up. I went. I also oh, went to oh, Catalina Island. Oh yeah, I didn't finish. I went to Catalina two that two weekends in a row. I went last weekend. I left Friday night, came back Sunday evening. Uh, well, late afternoon, and then I went on Saturday um, morning, and I came back today. Um, so Every I had a wonderful day. time. Man. I had a wonderful time. Um, the jazz musicians were wonderful, more especially Damien Escobar. That brother makes the violin really look interesting. Like the way he <laughs> plays it, it's like it's like I mean, you know, most people be like, "Oh, he was sexy and this and that," and I mean, granted, he was. However, the part that stuck out for me is that he's so passionate when he plays. It's like he draws you into it. And I'm not saying that I haven't seen other passionate musicians, but his is like a different type of passion. And he's playing that violin the way he does it. And so it's like he just boosts everyone's energy. And then he also puts, uh, there's a time during his presentation that he talks to us as well. And he's uplifting, and he's talking about love, and he's talking about how we should treat one another and how we should appreciate life and things like that. So it's like he did a lot of, um, what do you call that, exalting, exhorting people, like lifting people up. And so it was wonderful. It was really, really good. So I had a good time. So I did that also. And I'm so glad she had that (laughs) wonderful time. But I just need to add, okay, Mm -hmm. I just need to add. Okay, because I didn't get to go. And one day I'll be able to go with her. But I just want to share this. She was talking about passion, how passionate he was. Okay, I thought she was talking about how handsome he looked. Excuse me. But I'm going to comment on it. Uh, <laughs> she showed me a video. Um, I was like, I'm not really into jazz, but I'll do it because when I'm with her, she do jazz. But I'm telling you, she sent me that video. She oh uh, she made me want to watch it. I watched it because he made he took <laughs> violin watching to another level, and I I wasn't watching it because of that violin. But I tell you what, he made me listen to him though, and that's all I'm gonna say on that one. All righty then, moving on. Oh Lord have mercy, he making me get hot and bothered right now. Come on, we gotta go back oh, to the show. Uh uh-uh. oh, Okay. <laughs> you no, I did not. Okay. All right, this is a grown-up show. This ain't G-rated. Man, all righty then. Okay, back to life, back to reality. All righty then. Now we're going to go to our little facts. I still don't remember what I was trying to say earlier before Miss Vicky told me she wanted an icebreaker. Oh, okay, so we're going to talk about, you know, October outside of us being our birthday month. Don't forget you could also donate at our website for our birthday. You got all the way to... November 4th and 9th. Okay, so um, it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's also Disability Awareness Employment. Oh, I said it wrong. Disability Employment Awareness Month. And it's also Domestic Violence Month. And it's also Pastor Appreciation Month. We want to give a shout out to our own uh, Bishop, Bishop Ed Smith. We appreciate you. So, we're gonna give a, oh, yes, you're right. Zoe Christian Fellowship of Whittier. Thank we appreciate you. you, Bishop. Thank you, thank you, thank There's you. There's a lot of Ed Smith out there. It sure <laughs> in the heck is. You ain't never heard about that. Man, gee, 
Jesus. <laughs> I can't even deny that one. Okay, but anyway, let's go. We're going to start with Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we want to give a shout-out to all the people that have survived uh, breast cancer or any kind of cancer in general. But we know yes. that that's not easy at all. So yes. um, I'm just going to give one or two facts today. So in the U.S., one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. The most significant risk factors for breast cancer are being female and aging. About 95% of all breast cancers in the U.S. occur in women, 40 and older. Wow. Just by, just by reading that stat alone, ladies and gentlemen, I would encourage you all, men or women, to go get checked out and get your physicals because I have been told and through research, when you catch it early, that helps a lot. And moving on. Yeah. Yeah. And then going back to uh, Dis- National D- Disability Awareness Month, I'm just going to keep it sweet and simple. People with disabilities are people first, Okay. They have a disability second. I'm not telling you something I read out of a book. I'm telling you for firsthand experience. I'm a person. I'm Dika. Dika. Dika before I have a disability. And being Disability Awareness Month, Employment Month, um, hire a person with a disability. I'm going to say it again. Hire a person with a disability. When I had my first job at Carl's Jr., that's what was told to me that they were willing to hire me because they know a person with a disability is going to come to work every day and they're going to come on time and they ain't got to worry about you being late. And I and I was like, huh? But I realized there's some truth in that because, you know, we, we, we might not, sometimes people with disabilities might not have anything else and they enjoy their job and they don't want to come to work. So don't feel threatened or feel scared to hire a person with a disability. We can do things just like everybody else. Now that's a, and I, we can do a whole lot more than you ever thought or imagined. That's a whole nother radio show. We gonna leave it right there. Um, next, um, let's see what else I want to talk about. Um, did I cover everything? Oh, domestic violence month. Let me get my little information. We were talking about myths, so I'm only gonna share one myth, and we'll continue the rest of the month. So let me find it. I don't want to make sure I get the right information. Can't nobody be saying tunnel vision don't give facts. Okay. Where is it at? But you said this is a myth, so how can it be a fact? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm talking about the whole show in period, not this one particular subject matter. I'm talking about the show period. All righty. Okay. You know, what would I do without Vicky? I'll tell you. She keeps me honest, (laughs) I tell you. Man. I'm just okay. answering the same way a listener would say, because I know if I was listening, I would probably say that out loud. Oh, but you doing the show with me. me. But you doing the show uh-huh. with me, man. Boy, <laughs> we having a lot of tunnel vision between the two of us today. Back to life, back to reality. I'm glad we're making you guys laugh. <laughs> Myth number six. Hopefully. Oh, they laughing. Myth number six. If the batterer is truly sorry and promises to reform, the abuse is going to stop. No, no, no. Remorse and begging for forgiveness are part of the method used by batterers to control their victims. Batter, batterers rarely stop battering without intervention. All right, then. So I we've given you three different, we've talked on three different subject matters. We gave you a little information. I hope that helps. If you want any more information, you know what to do. Contact us on our Facebook, or Twitter, or our Instagram, or send us an email at divinevictoryproduction at gmail dot com. Back to life, back to reality. Back to reality. <laughs> All righty then. We finally got it right now. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about our subject matter for the rest of the time. So, Ms. Vicki, you want to start us off on our subject matter? Well, we're talking about, um, uh, what is it, what's our topic? My bad. We're continuing our Bitter with the sweet. Yes, bitter with the sweet. So, um, we've been, for those listeners that are just coming on and those that have been keeping up or those that kind of trying to catch up, um, we've been talking about shows that 
um, are in the media, um, particularly OWN Network, which is owned by Oprah Winfrey. And um, a lot of the shows that we've been discussing are Tyler Perry shows. And the one in particular today is Queen Sugar. And these shows collectively um, have depicted social issues that we all have seen in one way or another. And so we decided that we wanted to share with you and, and discuss some of those social issues that have been occurring on these shows. Because some people we had talked about before how people have tunnel vision and they <laughs> want to pick and choose what shows they want to watch. They said, oh, I don't watch that because that's of the devil. Or, um, yeah. That show has too much sex in it or it has too much profanity or um, or they they're making church Christian. people look bad yeah. um, or just different little reasons why they bring up. Because I'm just only naming off certain um, reasons off the top of my head. However, we um, suggest and, or we dare you <laughs> to watch mm, um, these dare. programs that we're discussing <laughs> because you just might learn. Um, Ooh. And we, we hope right that, and we hope that sharing the different um, subject matters or the different social issues that we've recognized in the shows, we hope that it, it brings awareness um, in your life, uh, whether it's uh, personal or, um, you know, family members, loved ones, you know, or just maybe a neighbor you know, because we do believe that we are our brother and sister's keeper. So, um, you know, we, we don't want you to have, we don't, we're trying to promote not that mentality to get away from that mentality of me, my four, no more. Um, it's oh, difficult man. to live in this world without, without um, you know, helping somebody or at least giving them resources, something. So anyway, hopefully these shows can be some type of resource in regards to awareness um, and to recognize certain things, certain dynamics in families and in uh, populations, whatever it is, if it's the church population, if it's the school population, if it's the disabled population, if it's the um, LGBT population, if it's the, um, you know, the population in your job, wherever it is. So I didn't want to make it a long story, but you I sure? You done named every population yeah. of the whole universe. God, darling. Actually, I did, and I just gave examples. <laughs> but anyway, um, so <laughs> so with Queen Sugar, um, there's a lot of different things going on in, in Queen Sugar. That's a very, very good storyline. Um, Queen Sugar is in, is it Louisiana? I know it's Louisiana, but is it New yeah, Orleans? Yeah, Louisiana, yes. Is it New Orleans or? They didn't say just that. They just say Louisiana. We'll just say Louisiana. Yes, and to be safe. So, yeah. And so, anyway, we have given kind of like a, a background on it. I guess I can kind of uh, give a summary. Um, it's African American family, a father um, who has four children. Let me see. Two girls. No, three, three. children. Uh, three children, two of the children, the, the son and daughter, the youngest, the son is the oldest, youngest, and the daughter, which is the second child, no, the oldest child. Dang, I'm getting confused. Actually, that's not, the son is not the youngest. He's the middle son, middle child. <laughs> so the oldest um, child and the middle child, which is a boy and a girl, was by one lady. And then... The youngest daughter is by a Caucasian woman, and the father is African American. So they have that dynamic, and they do discuss the issues in that area. And then the father owned a farm that he actually was um, taking care of it, cultivating it, and growing, you know, um, growing things out of the the acres of land. And um, he ended up dying. And his children inherited the farm. So the children so were not close. The children were not close. 
um, this 